At long last, it is time to finish this game. I picked up a Rotom between the last time I played it and this time. Rotom is special. When you get Rotom, you also get a key item. The Secret Key. A high-tech key that has to be used at a specific location, and emits a special electronic signal to open a door. I'm pretty sure I know where that is. There we go. It's the entrance to a secret room. There's a mysterious notebook here. Its age is impossible to tell. It was by pure chance that I obtained information about the Pokemon Rotom. Remarkably, Rotom is able to uh, merge with special motors. Rotom can, uh, can thereby enter various home appliances and change its form. I have confirmed that Rotom changes its types and the moves it can learn by reflecting the characteristics of any home appliance it enters. This Pokémon requires exhaustive observation and analysis. To ensure I get all the credit, my Rotom research must be kept secret. They will, uh, they will come to re recognize as the ge uh, scientific genius Sharon. The rest of the notebook is blank. Sharon was a member of Team Galactic only in, um... Platinum. In Platinum, there was an event for this where you got the secret key. But that secret key event was not common. I never got it. Um, in this game, simply catching Rotom gives you the secret key. It's a microwave oven. It has an odd-shaped motor on it. Oh, Rotom appears as if it wants to go into the motor. Will you allow Rotom to enter the motor? Yes. Rotom entered the motor. Rotom is trying to learn overheat. <laughs> I obtained the Rotom catalog. Microwave Oven has been added to the Rotom catalog. Ah, imagine finding you here. You must be eager to fill your Pokedex to be searching even here. What am I doing? I visit a professor I know in a turn of every so often. He tells me intriguing rumors of rare Pokemon sightings and such. A Pokemon that slips into electric appliances, you say? Hmm, that is somewhat off from what I've heard about it. Hmm. This is what I've heard. Long ago, there was a Pokemon that merged with a toy robot. Should that Pokemon be recognized as a new species or not? Debates over the issue were about to start when they were rendered moot. The very topic of discussion, the Pokemon-infused robot, disappeared. A rotary fan. A rotary fan has been added. We have a uh, refrigerator, a washing machine, and a lawnmower. It's an old notebook. There's no telling how old it is. Would you like to read it? Yes. One, our encounter was a sudden one. It was when I found my toy robot, one that I earlier misplaced. At that instant, a Pokemon suddenly emerged from the lawnmower's motor. Clutching my robot, I stared, transfixed by the pe uh, peculiar Pokemon. The Pokemon hovered in the air, held aloft by a power unseen. As if curious and unafraid of my presence, it floated toward me. Par uh, crackling sounds accompanied it, as if from static electricity in the air. Remarkably, this uh, it seemed the Pokemon was the source of this power. In alarm, I flinched, certain my face would be subjected to a shock. Much to my surprise, the Pokemon always seemed to favor me with a smile. 
Finally, I came to realize that the Pokémon only wish to be friends. I have decided to uh, name this most wondrous Pokémon Rotom, which is motor backwards. Simple but uh, they mo uh, may be, Rotom emerged to me from the motor of a lawnmower. Motor and Rotom. Surely the link is obvious? Rotom is a Pokémon that is simply sensational. The fact that it can turn invisible is simply the beginning. What makes Rotom unique is its ability to enter, it, uh, enter and operate machinery. It's about halfway, th uh, halfway through. Would you like to keep reading? <laughs> Rotom and I became fast friends. We were perpetual companions. The electricity from its body forbade contact, however. We could not touch, let alone hug or hold hands, but we cared not. For we were bonded on a much deeper, incorporeal level. A feeling of mischief got the better of me one day. Seeing Rotom hovering, I decided to startle it. Normally, I would not. Perhaps frightened, Rotom discharged power beyond its usual range. I fell, stunned into the arms of unconsciousness. When I came to, to my horror, I realized that Rotom had disappeared. I searched high and low for my friend in dismay and desperation. Don't chastise yourself. The fault is mine. No harm done. Let us play as we always have. Though my words poured out, my friend could not be found to hear them. My search for Rotom carried me far from home. It was in this uh, the town's rubbish heap that I again found my old toy robot. Curiously, our eyes met. Then the robot waved a hand as if in greeting. I knew then that I had found my lost friend. I ran to it and hugged Rotom tight, taking uh, talking on and on. The robot's eyes lit up happily as I held it. I'm certain that within it, Rotom was emitting lots of electri electricity. Somehow I felt I could understand Rotom's thoughts better than before. Also, I realized that we would remain friends throughout our lives. The notebook ends with this page. Okay, so if we walk outside, now that I have that stuff done with Rotom... I can walk together with Rotom. It's in a lawnmower right now. If I open up the catalog, though... I can do light bulb. Forgot leaf storm. Microwave oven. And he learned overheat. Now he's a microwave. Washing machine. And he learned Hydro Pump. Refrigerator. Throughout Hydro Pump and learned Blizzard. Electric fan. Forgot Blizzard and learned Air Slash. And lawnmower.
Forgot Air Slash and learn Leaf Storm. Washing Machine is, generally speaking, the best form for this guy. So, competitively. Alright, so that's done. Next up, you have got to be freaking kidding me! <laughs> so there's a Game Facts answer. And this is contrary to all of the other stuff. I have to have completed the stuff on the same profile! Naturally, naturally, I have not completed this game on... Okay, so... Just to, just to tell you. So, on, on this game, I completed it on this profile. And on this game, I finished it on this profile. So, what's going on here? Guess what? I have to do it... I either have to do this all over again, or I have to do this all over again. I don't have a completed save profile for, uh, for, for Emily. So, we'll do the true finale of this game next time, after I have finished a profile on Emily for BDSP because it's way faster than doing it again on Legend Arceus. Okay? So... That's gonna be all for today. Um... I thought I could do it! Okay. Well, anyway. That's gonna be all for today. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.